All right, this right here is the actual beginning of the Transamerica Trail. I'm super stoked. I just filled up. Looks like I got all 245 miles to a full tank of gas. Good piece of information to keep along the way. And uh, yeah, so from what I understand from this part on, it is actually going to be a lot of paved roads on up through Tennessee um, and North Carolina, but just kind of a scenic route. As you can see, it's definitely scenic, narrow roads. So um, I've made the transition from GPS on the phone to the actual handheld GPS um, to follow Sam's tracks. And that's what I'm doing now. So it's, I think it's going to be a good quick little trip through and then I'll end up uh, catching camp nice little blind corners catching camp um, sometime around nightfall or some you know some place that I can find it so pretty cool stuff again I'm gonna be in Nashville um, Tuesday morning so all right talk to you later cool so actually I'm on my first little bit of dirt and it's only been like two miles so that's pretty straight Goes straight into a forest road right here um, the sign at the very beginning of the road it actually goes down a dead end and then at the very beginning of looks like somebody's driveway you can see the little uh, national forest sign um, but then it says that there, it's just a one lane road with turnarounds so this is the road and this is pretty much what I expected to see here in the southeast so pretty cool deal alright so I just came up on a pretty rocky descent it, the trail's getting a little bit narrower now. Um, I've traveled about 10 miles off road. Right outside of uh, the very beginning of the Trans America Trail. So, pretty cool that this comes up like this. I fully was expecting to be like um, asphalt all the way, you know, into Tennessee, I guess. Um, based off of the things that I'd heard and read before. Um, but also, I think a lot of people go, I, I don't know if they use a different Trans America Trail or different what they think's the Trans America Trail, or I don't know. Anyway, I bought Sam's map, so Sam's map so far is spot on. Um, you know, I, using the Garmin e 20, it just. It's, it's right there. I downloaded the maps and all I got to do is follow the little purple route. This is definitely an area to come back to. here. Road's called Big Santa Leola Road here in the National Forest. About 36 miles from Andrews. Well, exactly 36 miles from Andrews. Nice little spot. Looks like we're coming up on the first water crossing of the journey. So we're 85 miles into the Trans America Trail, and here's a water crossing, as promised. So this is actually the first time that I'm gonna utilize the um, active terrain management tool on the trail. I really don't think there's a use to, but it is kind of muddy here. It's been raining a little bit. Second water crossing, so um, we're going to go ahead and go through it. So let's see what happens. I've got it on uh, mud, sand, and dirt. Yeah, I'm just traveling right on through. Nothing big there. So, nothing major.
Hey, what's up guys? It's Will Adams, the Carolina Car Guy. I want to give you a quick recap of day one on the Transamerica Trail. If you're following along, that's hashtag trail on tat. T-R-A-I-L-O-N-T-A-T -T, or hashtag Carolina Car Guy. Um, so anyway, so yesterday I picked up in Andrews, North Carolina. Was pleasantly surprised to find that the uh, off-road portion started rather quickly. I really enjoyed that. Um, I did uh, miscalculate a little bit of the timing. I thought that I was going to be able to intersect with Highway 24 or Interstate 24, go straight up to Nashville to meet my uncle for uh, breakfast on Tuesday morning, or this morning. Um, unfortunately, that did not happen. I, I went until about 12, 1230 on the trail. A couple things happened. Uh, one, the trails are extremely hard to navigate at night. I don't recommend it. Um, two, I was running uh, not low, but I got to a quarter tank of gas, which meant I only had about 40 miles. Not familiar with the area, so I didn't know where the local gas station was. And three, for whatever reason, that little leg of my trip, had, like part of the leg of my trip in, in Tennessee, had basically gone away on my little GPS, and it was missing. Now, the Toyota 4Runner, believe it or not, most of the forced uh, service roads that are... Um, that are part of the Transamerica Trail, at least this part, we're already into the navigation, so I was able to follow along a little bit, but at one point it didn't intersect, and of course, as luck would have it, I went the wrong way. I noticed that there was a highway right outside, so I just went onto the highway, got gas. Thank you to the random person at the gas station who leaves the pump on um, whenever y'all are closed. So whoever's decision that is, thank you very much. You're the best. So I filled up with gas. Then decided that um, I wasn't going to search anymore for a, a campground because I was looking for a campground with a uh, cell phone signal, uh, which I should have known better, I guess. But nonetheless, um, I decided just to go ahead and go to a Walmart. Well, I went to the Walmart and I did not prepare to sleep in the car overnight without unpacking it first. I figured that I would get to a campground, set up camp, get everything situated, and kind of be on the road. Well. That didn't quite happen, so I spent about an hour in the Walmart parking lot trying to rearrange all my shit to get it right, and then finally went to sleep about 1, 1 ish Well, then about 4.30, 5 o'clock, maybe 4.45, uh, I woke up to an alarm going off, and it was the alarm for one of the stores across the street from the Walmart that I was staying at, and then police were coming, and evidently there was a break-in or something. I, I'm not real sure. But I decided, okay, I would go ahead and go to Nashville from there. And uh, wouldn't you know, I'm like, I was like two hours, three hours away from Nashville. So all the driving that I did, um, and I really was a lot further than I thought. So um, definitely lesson learned was, uh, one, I got to rearrange my shit whenever I get to the next campground. Um, two, make sure uh, that you understand that you're going to be on dirt roads doing, you know, less than the, I had averaged uh, 30 miles per, uh, per hour is what I was thinking, but it's definitely less than that. So, uh, take that as a no. So when you have time to just drive like this for hours, just, you know, 20, 25 miles an hour, uh, you get time to think, and I started to think about the fact that whenever I was at the pilot station earlier, and I left, and then, you know, the truck started to feel like the balance was wrong, so I went back and got the expensive-ass tire kit, and then just as soon as I get onto the trail right outside the city, I get a flat and have to use it. And luckily, I was within distance of the uh, city. So, that's truly being blessed to have access to matches in the darkness. I mean, that is the true definition of that. Yo. Check out that. That's sick. All 
light, so I wish I could have caught that on film. I'm riding by, and, you know, the people um, just kind of hanging out on the front porch just looking at all this beauty. And I can't really say that I blame them. It's just a different level of beauty out here. Look, here comes a school bus. So, like, this is, like, right on the outskirts of, uh, of, you know, some kind of civilization. Hey, even the school bus driver waves. They're hauling ass, too. Like, she's a fucking pro. My bad. Excuse the language. Not safe for work. Anyway, look at this. Where do these folks work? Like, what do they do? Beautiful houses out here. Just happy as hell. Living life. I just sit on my front porch too and look. Listen at these frogs. In the swamps. Crazy, huh? Now they hush. All right, so I just got done talking to Mr. Fleming, which was a little old gentleman that was uh, fishing. And he told me I can camp right here. Now he did say the closest convenience store is about 12 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that closest convenience store and get some beer because damn it I deserve to have a beer down here next to this beautiful lake this is absolutely gorgeous I'm super thrilled about tonight so apparently Waterloo Alabama is a dry county the little uh, county uh, crossroads market didn't have any beer so I gotta travel about six more miles down County Road uh, 14 here, and then I'll find some beer, which is much deserved tonight. Wait until you see the camping area. Golly, stoked. Realistically, realistically, can you ask for a better camping spot? I don't think you can. Right outside of Waterloo, Alabama. Yeah. Little buddy did good today. Thank you, Mr. Fleming, for the advice. Yo, for somebody that ain't never camped before, I gotta give myself props. This is straight legit. Got me a little pork chop sandwich, about to put some mustard on there with that roasted garlic and herb. A little one person mess kit, perfect. And Bud Light, all you need Coleman to go stove, Toyota 4 runner, some trails. Oh, here's that net system I was telling y'all about. Yeah, you know, keep the mosquitoes out. A little campfire set up. A little itty bitty deal, man. I ain't even tending to it because I don't need it. And then over here, I got some more shit. Yeah, so what's up? First time camping. Alright, cool. So I've uh, cleaned up, uh, camped out in uh, Waterloo, uh, Alabama, next to this gorgeous scenery right here as you can see um, so anyway so I got uh, got all packed up got the truck reorganized a little bit and then I was able to uh, use my little wipes to actually clean up and then as you can see I changed clothes finally goal for today again is to um, I'm gonna try to get a hot shower today I got my little uh, solar shower hooked up to the roof rack up there um, I did see the weather radar, though, in Mississippi, it looks like there's a big-ass storm coming. Um, just kind of popped up out of nowhere, which sucks. But um, hopefully, I'm hoping that I miss that. But if I don't, then I don't know how hot my solar shower is. Because as you can see, it's kind of overcast, too. Um, it is still early, though. It's about uh, 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go. Put the table up top so it freed up some room in the back. So I'm stoked about that uh cleaned up the campsite made some bacon and eggs this morning and uh yeah we're good to go so cool 
So I just got off the phone with Smitty Built trying to get a tent to use for the uh, for the trail or for the trip um, and the rack system that they have. Um, they show it on Jeeps, but I've never seen it on Forerunner. Anyway, I submitted the application uh, about three weeks, well, four weeks now, and uh, didn't hear anything. And then I followed up with the lady, and she had said that she hadn't had a chance to submit it yet. And this was uh, last week, right before I went on the trail. Uh, evidently, I think uh, now I figured out, or now I find out, that uh, they sent an email saying that it could take up to four to six weeks and to allow two months uh, prior to the event, but I didn't I didn't know that whenever I first uh, first sent the application. But anyhow, so I've been trying to get the tent, and I was talking to them, and, and uh, everything was going good. Well, the problem is, is whenever I first launched this trip, I did a YouTube video saying something about it being three weeks, and if they could hook me up, um, and evidently because of that now the lady won't submit the uh, sponsorship request for approval so that sucks so unfortunately I don't get the Smitty built tent to test out uh, would have been a good deal for them I think and, and for me it would have been cool but oh well win some lose some I guess I've never had free shit before so whatever Mississippi mud. Dirt roads are all like that. I couldn't imagine trying to come through here wet. It'd be a sloppy mess and bumpy and slow. Um, but these things kind of sneak up on you though. Like you could be hauling ass down this road and then the next thing you know, you come up and it's the road's gone or washed away or whatever or got big ass ruts like this right here it's wild and you can see the the whole road does this it's not crazy the country's beautiful though All right, so today is day four, the beginning of day four, and I'm leaving the campground. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of this little state park that I stopped in off of the uh, Yokoma River in Mississippi. Uh, you'll see the screenshots of the location whenever I make the final YouTube video, which you're watching now. So anyway... Um, yeah, pretty cool little campground. I drove and drove and drove all last night. My God, I didn't think I was ever going to stop driving again, uh, just kind of like the first night. Uh, but I finally found this little place. i got to figure out a better way to find state parks and campgrounds other than Google because Google is not the most reliable um, source. Um, other than that, everything was good. I slept really well last night. Slept until probably about 9 o'clock this morning, which is fantastic. Hopefully the park ranger doesn't give me shit because I came after hours. I did leave uh, money in the little envelope on their honor system thing, uh, but I didn't reserve a, a campsite because, of course, I didn't know about this place. So Anyway, so now we're leaving. I was able to find a bathhouse, so uh, success on my mission of finding hot water to take a shower in, which is good because the sun hadn't been out. The sun's still not really out. Um, it's nice temperatures about 60 degrees, but my solar uh, shower is up on the top trying to collect some Sun and uh, It can't get any because there's no Sun. So We're off. We're uh, off the Transamerica Trail right now I got off of it uh, last night after one of the little routes It was taking me it was gonna take me way out the way of this 
because uh, I was ready to get some sleep. It was about 10 o'clock. So uh, we'll get back on the Transamerica Trail and go on from there. My goal today is to get past the Mississippi River. So, and here we are at the park station. Let's see if there's anybody in there. Nope, nobody in there. Let's roll. Catch you on the flip side. Alright, so we got a muddy little road here with some water crossings. Here, I'll shoot some video so that way you can see the water crossings. It's no fun if you can't see it. Um, these roads are far better than the one that I came across yesterday, though. The one that I came across yesterday was straight washed away. So, uh, these at least you can know get through um, the speaking of wash I decided that I'm not gonna wash the forerunner for the whole month um, so I'm gonna bring dirt back from all over the US <laughs> that would be pretty cool but yep so cool little water crossing we are on sand bed road um, let's see if I can figure out where we're at real quick here Sandbed Road in Panola, Mississippi, or Sardis. Sardis in parentheses, Panola, Mississippi. So that's where we're at. Because it is rather. So we're coming up on a uh, Trans America Trail rest stop. It said rest stop and sign in. So uh, we're gonna check this out, see what it is. Um, said it's a quarter of a mile up on the right. Here it comes right up here. I see the sign for it. Stop and sign in. So shit, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I found camp just right off the road there. Kind of back in the cut. As you can see, it's kind of muddy. It must have rained real good here. Got set up. A little fire spot. So this is where we're gonna call it for tonight. All right, so it's day five, and I've packed up camp, and I've left. It is uh, 7.30. I woke up about 6.30. Um, on my way to go get breakfast at Tom's Country Cooking in Haven, Arkansas, and the reason is, is one, I didn't feel like fucking with it, or excuse me, messing with it this morning. Um, and because it started raining overnight, um, I didn't get very good sleep last night, just... I don't know why, just because my ribs and my collarbone were kind of hurting me. Um, so, yeah, so I decided that I'm just going to go get breakfast this morning. And, uh, oh, yeah, and, and I'm tired of pork, man. Damn, I've had pork chops. I've had bacon. Um, I don't know why, for whatever reason, I've packed only pork. Um, but, bad idea. So, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Day five on the Transamerica Trail after I get done um, hooking up at Tom's Country Cooking, I think is the name of the restaurant. After I get done there, then I'll head on back um, on the trail. <clears throat> See how far I get. So. All right, so what I understand, there is a big storm going into Colorado. Uh, my goal is to be in Colorado on Monday, which is the 17th, no, 18th of April. Um, so that's my goal. I'm in Arkansas right now. Uh, I got to pass through Oklahoma still, which I imagine I will go to Oklahoma today and pass through Oklahoma tomorrow. So, 
Uh, they're expecting a huge storm with about two to four foot of snow this weekend. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that and trying to figure out time and logistics and, and all that good stuff. So should be interesting. So we'll see. So as I'm riding through, um, I've been seeing a lot of mobile homes with tires on top of them. What's the deal with the tires on top of the mobile homes? Another thing that I've seen going through Arkansas is um, purple paint, like on trees and fence posts. There's one there. Um, I don't understand what that's for either. More purple paint, purple paint, purple paint, purple paint. See what I mean? And this is this has been going through all the way through Arkansas. So, what's the deal with that? So driving through uh, the Ozarks, I can see out the left-hand side, uh, vaguely through the clouds, the uh, beauty of the actual Ozarks, which is truly unprecedented. It's really pretty out here. Uh, the only problem is, look at this dog. Crazy ass dog. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, hopefully whenever I come back, it's not as cloudy because it is absolutely beautiful what I can see of it. But you gotta take what you can get. I'm just sitting here thinking about that damn dog. These dogs out here are absolutely crazy, man. And, and from North Carolina on up, I'm in Arkansas, all these dogs out in the country are the same. Like, they're pissed that you're coming down their road, one. And two, they're ballsy as hell. They'll just fly right out in front of you and try to bite at your bumper. I think one of them did bite the bumper um, yesterday. So it's crazy to me. You know, back home, I had mentioned a few times that, uh, you know, I miss seeing butterflies. It's just something that, uh, for whatever reason, over the past few years, I've noticed a pretty large decline in the amount of butterflies you see. Uh, one thing about this trip, I will say, is there's a lot of butterflies out here. So, it's pretty cool. You get to see some butterflies. It's the small things like that that uh, you learn to or relearn to appreciate, so to speak, while you're on this trail. Which is the exact reason that I wanted to take it. Among many. I couldn't remember if I told everybody how beautiful the view was. Wow. I shoot a video of some of the terrain I'm going through. Move this out of the way. Hopefully, I don't scratch the shit out my truck. There we go. Definitely some uh, rocky stuff. a good thing the whole trail's not like this because god that would make for a long trail it's already long um, i'm here to tell you here it is day what five and uh some bitch is long now long days of driving windy gravel and dirt roads
this is the safety patrol at the state at the state park. He's telling me I got to leave the state park. <laughs> oh shit! Morning. It's day six of my Trans America Trail journey, and I'm leaving this little bar outside of West Salem Springs, Oklahoma, and the bar is called Red Dirt. Reason I'm at the bar at seven o'clock central time is because uh, last night I tried to stay at Natural Falls State Park and as I was searching for a campsite I got flagged down by this uh, little old guy so I stopped and uh, he proceeds to tell me or ask me first in a very confrontational way what do I need I said well sir I'm just looking for a place to camp well you ain't got no business riding around here I said, well, sir, I apologize. I thought it was a state park. It is a state park. Okay. He said, we're full. You need to leave. Okay. So, you know, it, it wasn't going to go nowhere real quick. It was going to end up being a, a, a confrontation uh, that I didn't feel like getting involved in. And it's a little old man. It's, you know, what, what's the use? So I went up to the front, um, to the parking area, sat there and tried to look for a place. Next thing you know, here comes a little old guy on his uh, on his golf cart, chasing me down, telling me I need to leave right now. This, that, and the other. I mean, just a real prick, just real prick. I don't I don't know what kind of authority he has. If he has any authority, I doubt he does. It's just a real genuine prick. Um, I tried to explain to him that I'm not from here. I drove 50 minutes out of the way just to go to Natural Falls based on a Google review. I made sure that nobody else makes that same mistake. Yeah, and just a true, true prick in every sense of the word. So anyway, so then I came up to uh, this little bar um, named Red Dirt. It's actually a pretty cool little place. Watched two bands play and then uh, talked with the owner and he let me chill out here on the side. So that's what I'm doing. But now it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I got a few goals today. Uh, one, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep because uh, I was at a bar up until last call, about 2, 3 o'clock. And it's now 7 o'clock. So my first goal is I'm going to find a Waffle House because I'm ready for some Waffle House food. Um, and it really wouldn't look right. I'm right off the main highway. Um, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think they'd appreciate if I just set up shop started cooking eggs and bacon and all here. So I'm going to find a Waffle House. But the second thing is, is I'm going to find a shower and a uh, place to lay my head tonight because I think that uh, my you know my ribs and my collarbone are hurting real bad. I think that I'm going to stay the night in a uh, hotel tonight for a couple reasons. One, because I'm hurting real bad. And two, there's a huge storm over the, uh, the Midwest right now um, that's just pounding all over um, Colorado. So I'm going to wait till that passes. Um, I've got uh, two states before I get to Colorado, but uh, I'm going to try to get there uh, by... Monday. So, cool deal. Peace out. Check in with her very shortly. Actually, we'll check in with her right after this. 21 Pilots, this is called Ride.